Was it in focus? Oh God. It was. Was it when I was just doing it? Okay. <laughs> One of my favorite parts and an extremely important part of art and photography is composition. Composition is your opportunity to take control of the image you're creating. You will hear people talking about how they're being creative with their camera or their aperture, or whatever they're doing. I'm just like, okay, that's dumb. I'm gonna use composition. <laughs> Everything is part of the composition. The subject, the light, the fore, mid, and background, the shapes being created, contrast, the mood, the timing, when you take the photo. Directing the viewer's eyes with purpose. Subtle variations can be extremely impactful. You can purposefully play with the subconscious mind of the viewer. And that is wicked. I'm going to talk about a few things that I do when composing an image. And hopefully you can take away some inspiration after watching this video. To make this simple, I've broken it down into four different things. So let's look at this. The first thing I want to talk about is the rule of thirds and the golden ratio and how you can kind of get into the habit of just using that to compose your images. I feel like that's a recipe for a boring set of photos if you're only placing someone on the rule of thirds every time, maybe on this side, maybe on the other side. If you're just doing that, you might want to step out of that and start doing a little more complex compositions. In the past, I found myself getting into Photoshop, grabbing the crop tool, and then trying to force those grids on top of my photo. And I've come to realize that it's way better to do that when you're taking the picture. The more you can do to get the final image to the composition you want in your camera without cropping, the better off you're gonna be. You can set that in most cameras into the viewfinder or on the screen, however you want to do that. That should help you during the process of taking the photo. You already have the grid there, but don't use that as your go-to and try to go off your judgment. I think you will come away with more creative compositions. The second thing I want to talk about is putting the camera down, composing with your own eyes, looking for the image you want to take and then introducing the camera to actually get the image. I have found that when I'm composing with my own eyes, I just hold the camera down. It's easier for me to find things like complementary colors in the background. And especially if you're working with somebody, you're taking someone's photo, it's less intimidating for them if you're walking around with your camera blocking your face the whole time trying to talk to them do this do this like it's not the best situation for them they'll be more relaxed you have the camera down you're composing you see it then you put the camera up you can find it in there a bit take it and for me anyway that works a lot better so give it a try number three i want to talk about balance and weight and let's go with the weight part of it. Something bigger, just imagine that it would be heavier in your image, something smaller, and you're, you have a bigger thing over here, smaller thing over here. Possibly you want two small things to one big thing. Consider things like that and it can help you make more interesting images. Number four is you really want to define the most important part of the photo. What are you trying to point out to the viewer? Say you're taking a picture of somebody and they have really cool shoes on that you want to show off. Well, find a way to really highlight those shoes. Yes, you can have them in focus, but also what's pointing to it? Where do they sit within the frame? Like the shoes, are they sticking out? Are they up, down? 
I find that knowing what is the most important part, a lot of the times in a portrait, it's like someone's face, you're focusing on the eyes. How can you make that more impactful in your image? Consider that going into your composition. It can be really helpful. The lightest part of the image is usually where the viewer's eye is drawn to the most. Like if, say you have a black image and you have a white dot on it, people are gonna instantly look at the white dot. Think about that. Like say that there's a giant room and there's a little window in the back that's really bright. People are gonna be pulled to that area. Put your subject maybe in front of that window, the little window, something like that. Say they have a really bright watch on that's hitting the light and like that's not even what you wanted to take the photo of. People are gonna look, be looking at that and consider that. Now for the bonus tip, I wanted to bring up dynamic composition. I'm gonna be making a video about this, but it is also something that you can look up on your own. Check it out, dynamic composition. If you build your knowledge up of how a good composition could be, then you'll be going into your photos with way better idea of what you wanna do. Well, that's it for this short video. I hope you can take something away from this. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.